Hello, my viewers. Here's a video that I promised some time ago on uh, crankcase heater relays. In this case, I have to use a small five pin, normally open, normally closed relay with a 240 volt coil to do this. And here it is the video. First, we'll turn off the power, pull the disconnect. Sure it's safe. All right, the best I can tell, this would probably be about the best spot for a, a relay for the crankcase heater. Because, as you can see, it looks like uh, uh, my panel here is getting more and more and more crowded with with things. It's a uh, five pin. Uh, it's single pole normally open and normally closed and it is rated at 8 amps and the coil voltage is 208 and 240 Typically, I would choose to use a contactor such as this one that where I can just simply fasten this auxiliary contact to it and then mount it in place of uh, the old contactor. The coil in this larger contactor that I'm holding up here has a coil that has a a load on it that could do some damage to the control board right here. If you look up here you'll see this triac that my fingers on right now and that's not really rated high enough. More than likely this big contactor would destroy that triac. So that's why I decided to just use this relay to energize and de-energize the crankcase heater. And the other good thing about this, like I was saying, is this relay has a coil at 208 volts, so it, it'll operate on line voltage. So there will be no extra load on this triac on the board. Okay, so first I'll go ahead and just disconnect the leads that go to the crankcase heater, well at least, at least one of them anyway because I'm only going to interrupt the circuit to one side. So I'll go ahead and connect this lead that goes to the one side of the crankcase heater directly right here on terminal number four. And I'll connect this wire to terminal number five, which is the normally closed position. And the other end of the wire can go to L1. Now I can connect one wire here to one side of the coil and another wire to the other side of the coil. By the way, remember this is this coil is 240 volts. Alright, so then we can connect uh, one side of that coil to the uh, to T1 right here. And then we'll connect the other side, T2. There we go. The way this will work is once the compressor contactor energizes, 
that will send 240 volts to the coil on this relay and this relay will pull in and it'll open the positions between two and five. I don't know, did anybody think I can stick any more stuff in this cabinet? It's getting pretty crowded now. Thanks a lot.